The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate and welcome back to Noatorio with me, Jetty, and today's episode. Today's episode we're going to try and work out how the hell I can get these robot frames to run faster so we get some damn Logibots. Uh, Logibots would be great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do. First off, we're going to change over our technology. Uh, I'd love robots to go faster. I'd love more cargo speed, uh, cargo space, but uh, unfortunately, these guys... Uh, cost yellow science and yellow science costs robot frames and robot frames are the one thing we need so we're going to cancel both these researches we're going to go in and we're going to grab the 30 milli milli millimeter cannon turret and shell magazine ammo the uh, reason we're going to grab these is they are installed by the mod flyers enemy so I'm really hoping they shoot down flying biters really really hoping it uh, at the same time because we are not going to do yellow science I'm going to do every other science so this is an engineering bomb also installed by flyers so we're gonna whack that on there we have modular turrets which i haven't even played with yet but i understand you can put down a frontline gun a heavy machine gun or a no a frontline gun a midline gun or a rear gun and then put whatever type of turret top turret on you want so a gatlin a light cannon a rocket or a laser so we're definitely going to grab that research along with a backline mount and nope that's yellow science we're not doing yellow science uh so gatlin gatlin guns slow down rounds okay uh light cannon that requires cannon shells which is only copper and steel that's not actually bad and it does say these shells hit instantly allowing turrets to safely fire over the walls okay uh we have a backline mount which we've already researched gatling which we researched pulse laser pulse laser will increase damage output over regular continuous continuous laser beams requires support due to limited firing arc okay no we'll pass on those for the moment uh hardened pipes are for flamethrowers Personal battery mark two sounds like a great idea. Uh, electric mining drill requires complex processing units, which I haven't even worked out how to make. Uh, we have oil refiner, our bigger and better oil refiner, it's bigger about power poles, turrets mark one, which requires vibranium plate. Haven't even looked at that yet. Uh, insert a capacity bonus, yes. Um, nuclear power. Well, we filled up the research queue. All right, so we're gonna do those. At the same time, I was coming here to say, oh, no, that was the other thing I wanted to try and grab. I wanted to try and grab those, automation three. So that's gonna be our next research we're gonna grab. Uh, so that was step one. Step two was to go grab some landfill. And we're gonna do that by raiding these boxes full of stone, dump the iron ore, uh, because we're gonna to need to be able to put a little bit of landfill around this patch here uh oh look it's 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 biters yes yay yay uh yeah i want to be able to landfill just out around here so i can get some miners on this patch because i'm thinking about converting that straight to steel um it's sort of in the right location there's not really any coal anywhere near it but we are bringing coal down to make plastic so maybe we can just steal off this line i don't know i i, I really haven't decided uh but what i have decided is uh i'll pick up that iron chest that's what i have decided okay and these are still going Ugh. Yeah, okay. Uh, same time, let's grab good old construction bots and send them to go clear off all that crap. Uh, none available? None available. Okay. I can't do the none available. Because if there's none available, uh, this guy kicks into action and takes the stupid robot frames that we have on the belt and converts them to more construction robots. I don't need more construction robots. I need logi robots. Okay. 
So we want to do that. We want to do that. I want to look at my new guns, my new guns, my new guns, which require stone. Of course they do. Uh, at least we found a use for stone. Okay, where stone and steel? Steel, which is running better, but maybe not enough. Better, better. Uh, that's four of them. We're handcrafting green circuits. Of all the things. Okay. Four, five. That'll do us. It's nine. Nine feels like a really bad number. Uh, gears. There. Okay. Ten. Ten of those. Uh, and then they're going to need ammo, which is... Oh, that's a lot of iron. With plastic and explosives. Okie dokie. Uh, Alright. Whilst we're here, trees and rocks only. Go away. Alright, explosives, plastic, iron. It looks like we're throwing together a temporary build. And my phone just went ballistic. Uh, I'm worried about this Discord. Because our Discord server. So, so, I don't often plug my Discord server. But I'm going to spend the time and effort to plug it just this one time. Well, there might be other times. But our Discord server is vastly and fastly approaching 2,000 members. 2,000 members on our Discord server. Uh, a large majority have actually joined this year. Uh, in fact, it was up until recently, I would personally welcome every single person into the Discord server. Up until the fact we were getting like 50 people joining per day. So, if you're interested in Factorio, if you're interested in chatting to other members of the community, if you like chatting to me real time, because I actually spend probably far too much time on Discord. Yes, probably far, far too much time on Discord. Um, I, I strongly recommend you click the link up the top right hand corner. It takes you to a pretty page that has like all my socials there. You can follow me on Twitter and all those other things at the same time. But more importantly, it has the Discord link. So you can jump on our Discord server. Um, on top of that, we do, well, we do a whole bunch of things. Uh, one of the things that we are, I have been known for for quite some time is community maps. We do a community map. Well, I try to do a community map every month. Uh, I have no idea how December is going to go. It, we did start one, but uh, life looks to have gotten in the way. So I don't know whether we'll finish that one, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, okay, so that gives us plastic and iron to 30 millimeter cannon rounds. We're going to put that into the robot network because that seems like the easiest way to get ammo where I need it. Uh, and then, okay, you guys. Nope, wrong deconstruction plan. Just rip up all this. I'm sick of looking at the rocks on the ground. Okay, I'm going to want a rover port here-ish. And... Yup. And then I want to cover this patch with miners. At the same time, you, 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 and you... Uh, I want to cover this patch with miners. At the same time, we need to cover it with these guns. So, we're going to put some... Oh, that's got some decent area of effect. Or range, rather. Uh, they will need power to charge up their shields. So, that is something we are to keep in mind. Uh, one there. One there. One there. One there. Let's put down inserters. Here. 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 Thankfully, we don't have swimming biters. You know, maybe for the next playthrough. If somebody modifies and makes swimming biters. Yes. If somebody makes swimming biters, I will probably install it in the next playthrough. Uh, you know, because I like a challenge. Alright, we're going to put that there. We're going to put in a... I don't have a request chest on me. Alright. It's time we had some basics in the inventory. Those. And those. I don't think... Oh, actually, no, there are some on their way. Does that mean... What? Some Logibots got instantly assigned to bring stuff to my inventory. Okay. Uh, same time. Let's grab some more brick. And a lot of that's done. So can we... And I, I, I'll apologize for the cats you may hear in the background. They're doing laps of the house again. Seeing who can run the fastest. Okay. That might have flooded the network again. It did. It's fine. Alright, uh, let's just put in one of these here so I can run off and do other things. 
All right, uh, another one here. I want to have a lot of coverage because I do not want to have flying biters. Flying biters sneak through behind me and start picking on my miners. So, uh, that is definitely the wrong type of miners. Can I get a real miner, please? Thank you. All right, we're going to have row of miners there. Uh, row of miners there. The next one will probably have to have power in it. Uh, real power pole there, real power pole there. Nope, that's fine. Everybody's dead. Did I lose a gun? I lost the gun. Uh, yep, this is what I mean. We're gonna have... We're gonna have to use our landfill to just skirt out around the edge a little bit. So I can get out and do things. Also, I'm gonna need guns down here. Uh, more guns. More landfill. That goes there, I guess. Uh, nope. Bring that down. Uh, and yes, like that. That that that's how definitely how I intended it to be. Okay. Uh, they will get powered up. Next row of miners right there. Uh, which means the next row of miners would be here. Uh, landfill, landfill, landfill. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. That one will get powered up from that side. Okay. Uh, you'll get powered up from that power pole when it finally arrives. We'll put in a request right here, right now. Uh, where's that ammo? 30 millimeter ammo. That's only 10. Let's request 30. Okay. Uh, the next one needs to have power. Okay, we need more landfill. Yeah, just because I can walk on water does not mean I can build on water. Uh, that'd be a different game. Some of which I've I've featured in the last couple of weeks. Yes, sorry. Um, just uh, yeah, as I said, a uh, uh, last episode, a child, sort of. May have given me something. Alright, where's my mouse spotter? Uh, I hit the DPI button. A lot. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Children. Uh, okay, I need to bring that along there. No, DPI is still way too high. Alright. Let's copy those. Uh, run more landfill. I'm gonna run out of landfill. There to there to there. I'm so gonna run out of landfill. Alright, we need to have that many tiles. We'll see if this works. Why can't I put one there? Cannot build on water. Oh, because there's one little tiny bit. You suck. Uh, all right. If I put a belt, let's start doing belts. Okay. Uh, that belt. That belt. That belt. Uh, that belt. Nope. Oh, please tell me not all those belts were going in the wrong direction. I know it's way easier to swap them now, but it doesn't change. It's frustrating. Okay. Bring that this way. Tag that in there. Yeah, all the belts go in the wrong direction. Oh. Okay. Uh, map view. Fix that belt, please, bots. Fix that belt, please, bots. Fix that belt, please, bots. Okay. 
So that should be let us do one, two, three, and hopefully combine all of that into sixty minus. So we should get one red belt out of this. Uh, but I also still need to do landfill. No more landfill. Uh, okay, I should be able to do a gun there with inserter and a power pole and you can have four rounds and then I want a little outcrop here at the very minimum uh, which needs to be that size yeah yeah almost uh, it would have to go there with the inserter facing that way and the power pole there. Okay, maybe I could have saved some landfill, but it still was not going to be enough. Alright, we need to go grab more brick. I thought that was a biter charging for me. A flying one that was. Alright, just break all of that in real quick. Uh, did I stress out the bots? Not too much. Uh, we'll remove that whilst we run past it. Can you guys just pick up all this? Because it's stone, and I really want stone currently. Okay, the other bots are doing it. I want the stone. I want the stone. I want all the stone. Uh, storage, storage, storage. No. Uh, these are getting more full, not less full. Hey, stone. Didn't really help. Alright, we need to grab stone off the bus. That should fix that problem. And I can also dump that, dump that, dump that. Go away. Thank you. Uh... Oh, that's a module upgrade. On the bright side, we're now making ammo even faster with more productivity. Uh, okay, so that goes to there. That should cover that gun. I'm hoping that that's enough. Gun ranges. Yeah, I'm hoping that's enough that we can keep flying biters coming in this side. Because this is going to be pretty much undefended, honestly. Uh, we need a steel smelter that's going to look something like that. Uh, to that belt. And you're going to have to go there. Purely because I didn't really plan this out and I didn't leave much space. Uh, can I go to All the way out there. Uh, yeah, power poles. Uh, I'm all out of those. And I'm probably not request. No, I'm not. I'm not requesting anything. I'm just building inside the robot network so I don't have an issue. Uh, speaking of building inside the robot network, can we actually have robot ports? Alright. Ah, uh, that's bad. That's really bad. Uh, I have no idea where it's coming from either. And it could pop up outside the base, it could pop up inside the base. Yes. Yes, I, I like making life interesting for me. Uh, power poles, power poles, power poles, power poles. Grab half. Uh, nope, nope, that's a separate attack from flying biters. Okay, let's go try and deal with that. was interesting. They all look to be dead. Um, sort of like the flying army I have floating around me. Sort of like it. I also, as far as I understand, they're going to become very, very useless very, very quickly. Uh, can we go back to concrete, please? Can I do that whole area? 
Okay, can I get a rubber port out? I one at the end. Oh, I can put one here. And I picked up power poles. Excellent. Alright. Uh, so what were we doing? We were... Steel smelter, power poles. Yes. Uh, have power poles. Have steel smelter. Hopefully it's built. Uh, that'll give us access to ore. Hmm. You could probably have some friends. Yes. I don't know if it's actually looking for the level 3 ones. Oh. That's not going to work anymore because that got upgraded, didn't it? Yes. So I need to change that from 22 to 23. Yes. Okay, we need to deconstruct, undeconstruct, upgrade one. Yes. Okay. All right. Back to this problem. I need to get power hooked into this. I need to get a rope hooked into this. I need to pick more research, which was going to be... Uh, crap. It's all rearranged. Um, personal laser defense. Sure. Not that I have better armor yet. Uh, energy shields. Done. Uh, nuclear power. Yes. Explosive rocketry. Why not? Landmine thrower. Of course. Uh, 88 millimeter tank. Uh, I remember one of these mods. Modular. Oh, okay. So every single time I've had a mod that defines the size of the cannon shells, it's been an absolute pain and it's made tanks way less fun. Um, but we'll try it. We'll try it. It's a different mod. Okay. And we'll have stronger explosives. We're just trying to cap out what we can research wise. At the same time, avoid that yellow research, so hopefully I can get some damn Logibots in the network. Uh, even our power. I have 300, so we're getting there. There should be enough now that they should be able to satisfy all requests. Okay, so if we get that one done... I should be able to put that one there. Uh, small power poles, small power poles, small power poles. Bring back that wood. Uh, 300. Sure. We'll just mass craft a whole bunch of small power poles. I want to auto trash that. Uh, I want to auto trash. I actually don't want to auto trash those because the flying robots are using them for fuel. Um, okay. Small power poles. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whoop! That's in the belt. That's not how you meant to work. Alright, so that's got power at least. That should auto build. Alright, and then we can plug the steel, the iron straight in the back end of this on some red belt. All that has to be red, actually. Uh, where do you plug in? You plug in, of course, right in the middle of where water passes through. And power poles, because we wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks, Factoria. Uh, okay, so that should plug in there. That should give us steel. We're still going to need to get coal and fit it in here. And technically, I shouldn't take it off the bus. Because technically, I probably don't have enough coal lines yet. And we still need to upgrade copper. And I need to find somewhere to put two more copper spelters. Yeah, about that, Jetty. Um, I guess I could fit them up here. Really, we should probably put them in front. We'll, we'll, we'll work that one out when we get that far. Uh, all of that can go away. All of that can get filled in. All of that can get filled in. Uh, bots or magic box that picks up stuff. You're not picking up stuff fast enough. Uh, so we'll throw robots at the problem. Yup. Uh, on the south side, yeah, you're definitely not picking up stuff fast enough. Uh, can I get a radar? That's not a radar. Can I get a radar out here just so I have that little bit of gap filled in? Yeah, pick up all of that. We've already picked up all the goop out here. We haven't concreted any of that yet. That's a later JD problem. Uh, that's another attack. 
They're dying quickly, but they are going to continuously cost us ammo. Alright, something to keep 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 aware of. Alright, I need to run coal. That's what I was doing. Uh, yeah, Jenny got sidetracked. Surprise, surprise. Uh, no. I didn't pay attention to the rules. And that marker. I need to build outside that marker. Because there are four markers for oil. And as long as you build outside them, you won't interfere with the future blueprints. So I'm just going to move this up a few tiles. And like this is going to have beacons in here later. So I need to build just a little bit higher. See, I need to come over that way. Alright, uh, we need to put in a splitter because I'm going to be horrible. And I'm going to steal coal off that because I'm just a bad person. Uh, that's a lot of splitters. Uh, actually, I wanted to check. No. Okay, so it looks like if they already have an upgrade and then I press Q on them, I get one that's pre-selected for an upgrade. And really, I just want a base model. Okay, so that should give us coal, that should give us iron, that should give us steel. Steel, we're just going to run up, we're going to fit it into the bus. Uh, yeah, that's literally all you need to be running. Actually, speaking of things... You are not burning that crap off fast enough. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of them. I'm going to place it right here where there's no Logi Network. Uh, it gives me an excuse to extend that Logi Network. Uh, upgrade that. Upgrade that. Remove that belt. Remove that belt. And you will produce pure coal. And input priority from the right. So what's going to happen is these chests should get filled with biter bits and they should feed through this furnace array and in theory in theory give us a second source of coal right here which should mean it takes the pressure off of this coal line which we're currently using for plastic and we will in the future use for a second layer of plastic um, apart from the fact I have no steel furnaces Separate issue entirely. Okay, uh, we're gonna bring that up, that across. Where are we going? Uh, steel is here. Uh, robot network is everywhere between A and B. Excellent. Just build you down, build you across, where they overlap. Uh, no, I actually. Oh, that's not where they overlap. They overlap there. Uh, cancel that. Done. Okay. So the bot should be able to take care of all that for me. That should get us a, uh, more steel. More steel. I think that it would technically get us up to a full yellow belt's worth of steel. Which should suffice any steel problems until we get into, um... What's that next tech? Um... Um, 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 words. Words. Words and things. Uh... Should suffice us until we get up to space science. Yes. At space science, it probably won't keep up anymore. But everything prior to that, we should be okay. Next thing I want to do, actually, whilst we're down here, is have an assembler on me. Yoink. That's a T1. T2. Uh, have an assembler... These are bad options all the way around. Um, yeah, nothing I want is close to one another. Okay, we're going to do it here. Uh, one, two, three. Yes. Okay, we're going to put water right there. We're going to finally make some of that concrete. Uh, that's refined concrete. I am not that rich yet. We're just going to go with normal concrete. Rotate that around. Copy. Paste. Uh, plumbing. There to there. Uh, do I have a spare one of those? Maybe not. No. Uh, we want... Where the hell are they? There. Uh, okay, so that needs brick and it needs iron. Iron is easy. Uh, iron, iron, iron. Uh, 
Okay, all the power poles can be in the way, as always. Uh, output, 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 output. We're going to take a belt. Alright, we need to put a power pole there. Uh, put that there. We will put a splitter there. Yes, okay, and then second row of belts there with another input inserter with passive provider chest. We're going to put a requester chest right here. Uh, we're going to bring down with a blue inserter brick. We're going to have to fly the brick down because it's just, it's, is it too far to belt? It's too awkward to belt. That's probably more accurate. I could belt it, but we're not going to. We're just going to have the bots deal with it. Uh, why the hell do we have... Okay, enemies destroyed. Yeah, we're getting used to that. Uh, why do we have no assembler twos? They're in the box. They're in the box. Is it we have no robots? We have no robots. That's a separate issue entirely. That is a whole pile of biters in the base. Okay. Once again, we shall go deal with lack of power and other problems. Yes. This is why we've put down so much bricks, so I can get around 10% faster. Speaking about getting around 10% faster, am I going to have time? I don't think I'm going to have time. Want some of those, some of those. Uh, hey, friends! which eat a lot awfully quickly. Yeah. It's right, I didn't like any of that power. Uh, where's our blue circuits? Our blue circuits are over here. I want some of them. Uh, I want batteries, which are here. I want electric engines, which are not very many in the machine, so we're just going to eat that whole line. I want... In the next episode. In the next episode. Oh, that's a lot of death over there. And that is a laser without power entirely. And that is a box with 80 lasers. Okay. Next episode. Next episode, we're going to spread around some laser love. We are going to... Well, I'm going to, going to. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to be real building uh, five burner inserters. Uh, harden inserter. Okay. Uh, five burner inserters... What else are you complaining about? Five burner inserters. Uh, all that stuff. Wow, that gets annoying real fast. Uh, five boilers. Uh, ten steam engines. And I think it was like five pipes or something. Done. So I'm going to stand here for a minute. Uh, I'm going to rebuild all this again. Uh, next episode, we're going to spread around the laser love. I think on top of that, it's definitely going to be time for some power armor. Not power armor mark two. That's just a little bit too far away, but definitely some power armor mark one. Uh, side note, we do have Logibots, and we actually have yellow signs backed all the way up. So it does mean we can resume our normally scheduled program next episode and go back to robot speed uh, along with heavy water processing. What? Okay. Uh, yes, we can go back to... Oh, shit. I need a radar down here as well. Automating radar. That's also on my list of things to do. Um, okay, that inside is missing. Everything's missing. Everything's missing because the bots are busy. Alright. Next episode we can go around with, yeah, spreading out some laser love. At the same time, I think it's time for some power armor. Some power armor, some power armor upgrades. Getting around the base a little bit faster because this has done us for a little while, but it's no longer nearly enough. Anyway, all well, that said, this is where I'm going to call this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying... God, that can't kill count is awfully high already. That's 35,000 kills and counting. Wow. All right, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.